<laughs> Hello everybody, this is me Paul. Welcome back to my studio or so Paul and to my humble YouTube channel. Guys, I'm really busy these, these days. I didn't even have time to grab my coffee, but I had to quit everything again because Saron 2 is out. And guys, this is easily one of the best VST synthesizers ever created and I have to put my hands on it. And I'm gonna actually do a patch from scratch to test out its new features. There are new uh, oscillator types, there are new filter types, there are more modulation options, new, as, uh, new FX uh, in the FX section, and other tweaks, uh, but let's focus on these four. Oscillators, filters, modulation, and FX. And I'm gonna create a free patch for you. And you know what? I'm gonna share this patch for you. You're gonna be able to download and use it with Serum 2 if you own it. And actually, we're gonna ask the question, is the hype real and is Serum 2 the new king of all virtual synthesis? Um, yeah, we're gonna find out today. Of course, if you think this channel is a cool place, if you like my studio and my videos, please consider subscribing somewhere here down in the corner getting notified, liking this vid, and commenting on it down below. I mean, I can't imagine you won't comment on this one. I want you to tell me what you think about Serum 2. Are you a Serum user? Have you been a Serum user in the past? Are you going to switch to include Serum in your arsenal? And generally, what do you think about all this Serum madness? Let's go! Also, there are no affiliate links for Serum 2 of any kind, but if you want to support me, you can give me super thanks or buy me a coffee right here. Thanks. My session is ready. Guys, this is Axe for Records uh, website Serum 2. Um, it's free for current uh, Serum 1 users. Uh, intro price is $189 and well, let me make a guess, it's worth the money. It's not the cheapest synthesizer out there, I know. But for what it offers, how it sounds, it's just a living VST legend, come on. And I'm gonna focus on four new features in this video. Multiple oscillator types. It used to be purely wavetable, now I got multi-sample, sample, granular, and spectral, then I've got dual filter in serial or parallel modes with new modes of the filter, that's the second thing. Then enhanced modulation, I'm gonna take a look into this as well, and then new effects in the effects section. There is of course more, as you can see, uh, modulation matrix, a new serum mixer, clip se sequencer with a piano roll, advanced arpeggiator, enhanced keyboard, preset browser, generally uh, improved new look of the synthesizer, um, and more, but let's keep it reasonably short and dive in right into it, maybe. Guys, this is the interface and this is the initial sound. And I'm gonna create a patch on the go. That's the best way to um, tweak a synth for me. And also, I'm gonna make this patch downloadable for you, so it's gonna be a free patch from me. Maybe I should do it more often with more synthesizers. Anyway, my friends, oscillators. Yes, we know this wavetable from the first version of Serum, uh, but you know what? We're gonna go for something else right now. Multi-sample. And I can choose from factory key here. Baby grand piano. I've got some settings for this here. All right, warp. I can not warp this, so I'm gonna leave it here. That's gonna be my first, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna switch it off. And I will go to the next one. Granular. <laughs> Ooh. 
Whoa. One shot. I can make it forward loop. Whoa! And let's go to Spectral. Spectral filter. I'm not gonna use it. It's already a patch. And it already sounds great. And actually, new oscillator modes make it a completely different synthesizer. Like, it used to be a wavetable with this strong virtual analog inclination, let's say. Now, it can easily replace, for example, Avenger 2, which also offers different oscillator modes. And it's got something that makes me thinking about Avenger 2 a lot, which is my go-to as for this ver uh, versatile all-in VST synth. This has clearly got a potential to replace Avenger. Maybe it's too early to state this, but let's tweak more. And let's take just one of the oscillators and maybe let's go for filter. Ah, I got routings here. This one goes to the filter. And this one goes again to the filter. One or two, so this is like parallel mix of the filters. Let's stick to one maybe now. And I know I got some modes here, multi, uh, miscellaneous, uh, and Serum 2 new filters. Wasp! With this characteristic resonance. Yeah! Maybe a bit too much. Acid ladder. Cool. What else? Whoa! Whoa, this is weird. I don't know what it does. Yeah, let's keep it like this and let's engage filter number two now. PZSVF, which lets me draw. My filter. Guys, you can draw. Like double notch, as you can see. What a hell. Yeah. And this goes to main and this goes to main. So these are parallel. You can make them serial because this can go to filter two and filter two can also go to filter one. So it's perfectly fine to make them serial or parallel, which is a great news. Uh, and let's keep it like this maybe. And I'm gonna maybe put this into filter one and I'm gonna do some weird modulation to this filter using LFO1. So modulation now. Guys, Lawrence. Guys, this is mad. Whoa! Mm. I'm gonna go for normal. And I'm gonna go for... This. I like this one. Ah. <laughs> Ah, 
I got more envelopes, I got more LFOs, I got more of everything. And that's going to be kind of a rhythmic pad. <laughs> I got this weird radio-like thing now, look. I'm gonna keep it here and I'm gonna use this LFO to modulate the rate of this LFO. Tell me, it's not a great patch. What do I think about this synthesizer? Uh, it's absolutely crazy, and you know what? It's easier to tweak than Avenger. Uh, it's somehow si similar, but it's so much easier to tweak. It feels so easier under my fingers. Actually, so oscillators, filters, some of the modulation has been used. Let's go to the FX and let's try to Engage, for example, uh, this. There's a new convolution, for example. What else is new? Bowed frequency shifter. Let's take bowed and convolve as completely new ones. Where's this bowed? Very nice, dirty tone. Ah, the last one will be convolution. Yeah, and you know what, EQ. I would say that I would start with a very slight EQ here. Yes, that's my new patch. Maybe we should s still do something about it here. This synth is seriously, absolutely mad. And I didn't spend too much time on it, to be frank. And I got results like this. What do you want me to say? Mm, welcome, Serum 2. Uh, I'm gonna save this patch, and I'm gonna give this patch for you for free. You're gonna find the download link below. <sighs> Guys, let's sum the things up. <laughs> Guys, the hype is real, I mean, <laughs> this is, uh, this is my new, uh, this is probably 
uh, with a large chance my new go-to uh, in terms of versatile, great sounding VST synthesizer. For now, it's been Avenger 2, which is a great synth. Don't get me wrong, it is a great synthesizer, but what I can see here is same grade, at least same grade, and somehow I do believe that Serum is gonna be easier, a bit easier to use. So probably I'm gonna stick to this one for quite some time, so to say. And also, it's been a revolution last month in my synthesizer department, because now Serum 2 kicks in, and also before that, uh, you, you know that, that I reviewed uh, uh, Multipoly by Cork in its VST form, which is my new go-to virtual analog, definitely. And that's a small revolution in my synth arsenal happening last month. And I'm really, really happy about it. Guys, that's it for today. Hope you liked it. Download the patch I presented, uh, I created for you, and hope to hear from you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.